Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are back inside Jurassic World Alive. And today we're going to be going over the new update. Yeah, I have been posted in about 4 weeks I think. And I've been, I think it was like 6 weeks or since the last video. Well, I don't know. It was for the last Jurassic World Alive video. It was like 6 weeks I think. 4 weeks was the animation which I made. Oh, wait. So, how do we do? What do we do now? Oh yeah, we go over the weekly calendar. I'll put that up in 3, 2, 1. And here is the weekly calendar. So on Wednesday and Thursday, we have Delo, Delo Gen 2, the dog thing. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> trying to remember. Tiny Calagaris and the epic thing down there. On Friday and Saturday, we're going to get the mega, the, that hybrid with the horns. I forgot what's it called. The bear, the lion hybrid and that thing. I don't know the names of most of these, so don't be mad at me. For Sunday, we have the one of the flock creatures, Carnotruckus, modern Stegotops, the Therizinosaurus no, hybrid, and we have the Mammoth hybrid. And on Monday and Tuesday, we have Carnotaurus, Nazutoceratops, and Dinotherium, I think, and the other one, I'm not sure. So now let's head back into the game. We are back, and we're going to go over this new update. So first of all, let's go collect, uh, get some of these rewards right here, like usual, you know. I haven't posted in weeks because what you call it, my laptop isn't working. I didn't know what to post. I just didn't feel like, you know, et cetera and stuff like that. So here, Extinction Pass. And for there are some reason, they have the new Apex Hybrid, which I might, I will get eventually the Indonemies. And for me to get them to level 25, I'm going to need 630,000 coin. I got to go on a big grind and it's going to take about a, a couple months, but we'll get there eventually. So yeah, this is the new pass. Obviously, it's not even worth. Honestly, it's not even worth it. Besides the skins, you don't even get Indonemies unless you pay for the thirty, the forty bucks right there to get a hundred and fifty of it. And I think some right here, or just, you know, it's just the whole thing. So yeah, not worth it at all. And don't even <clears throat> bother with it. Well, let's go over the new creatures. <clears throat> oh, this is my team now. I don't remember what my team looked like uh, weeks ago. Well, yes, I have Rexy level twenty-two with a lot of attack now. And be decent health, you know, he's level 22. We got... And Dom, we can do over 5,000 damage now, which is good. Dilo Ranches is actually on my team because he's really good in some cases. And I can take out a lot of things like... What's, what are they called? Schoonosauruses and Gemmatitis and stuff like that. It's a really good creature and I love it. And I, I really hope I can get it leveled up eventually. I think I'm out of Aratosaurus though. Yes, unfortunately, yeah. <clears throat> Indel the Taurus is out on my team, and I have a level 26 Giganex, a level 26 Parastops, a level 29 Scorpius Rex, and that's really about it, to be honest, for my team. I took off all the boosts, so I have like a, I have a lot of these creatures, a, a lot of boosts on them now, and mainly it's Giganex. <laughs> I did a little, I went a little bit overboard with him. I don't have a lot of boosts now, but yeah. My, my voice sounds different because, I don't know, I think I'm losing it, which sucks. <clears throat> now, let's go over some of the new creatures. I'm not putting them up on the image. First of all, I don't feel like it. And second of all, you should probably already guess. So, it's, these, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, speaking of it, why, we have a Quetzalcoatlus Gen 2 in a sanctuary. And there it is. Yeah, you guys get our first look at it, I guess. Here it is, it's in the sanctuary. I'm trying to unlock it and I'll put, when I unlock it, I'll post a short video about it. Oh, and I should go over the new creatures I unlock, so I'll go to that in just a second. To admire this massive creature. So we'll feed it a couple more times and I'll just head over to the new creatures I unlocked last update. First up, we got Micro Raptor. I mean, I barely, ha I don't have a lot of it and we need it for Segno Raptor, which isn't gonna happen. Next up, we have... It's up here somewhere. Ghost, right here. Uh, I have a 935 of it, which is nice. And it's pretty decent. Not gonna lie. He has 130 speed. He can't get speed decreasing. You can get him in Arena 10 Avery and up. We got Beta. I have 631. And I don't know how people got so much of it. Which I'm so... I was supposed to dart it, but I was in Mexico when it was on the chart. So I got a little bit upset for missing out. Time to go over the new creatures. Obviously, you just saw one Quetzalcoatlus Gen 2. Looks uh, really good. 
Now you can only find it at night. That's a bit weird. Because I'm pretty sure it's a day, dos dusk, and stuff like that. But alright. A new, another one is... Uh, this thing. The Lystros of this or whatever. Obviously, I... Oh, oh I have 7,000. The other one of the Lystrosaurus, but... Oh, no, I'm fine after I just... Okay, maybe I can unlock this eventually. Because I know for a fact I'll get it to level 20. I have so much of it, and I need to get you. Which is not going to happen. Okay. Next up, we have... This thing, which you need... Marsupial... No, the Thylocosaurus, which has a pretty cool skin, too. Which looks dope. But I don't have the other thing, which is the ra little raptors. And that's it for right here. I think so. Maybe it isn't. Maybe there's something up here. Now for the big thing. The most excited one I want to look. Indulnemis. The net, uh, uh, finally an amazing Indominus Rex hybrid that will actually be used more than Indulatorus. I I took mainly Indulatorus out of this thing. Because when I saw this one, the pole, I stopped fusing Indulatorus. And I don't know how much I have of it, but... So I saved the 5,824 Indominus Rex DNA. I have plenty of Velociraptor. I wasted 100k of it on this. I ran out of Rex, which is a bit disappointing, but I'll get more eventually. Now, the biggest problem might be smiling enemies, because I have enough to get a level 25. However, it's this thing that's going to slow me down. Carbon enemies. I don't run i run into them but not often and i'm pretty i only, oh i need pachycephalosaurus and what you call it oh god this is not good actually so yeah we're gonna have a big problem i'm gonna save up coin 600 i'm gonna try to get to like 800 000. it's gonna take a long time but i will do it eventually so yeah that's really about it i'm excited to use this thing eventually it's a really good creature its stats are amazing and it's perfect to use. Now, well, if I do get it eventually, what will I replace? Oh, that's pretty obvious. Forex, because Forex is garbage on my team sometimes, and I don't know why I. Wow, all this time and I still have 4,000 Draco Rex. Oh, God. This is horrible. And I know I have plenty of you. I don't need to worry about it because I have a lot of. a decent amount of Maya Sorkin. I was, I've been working on some animations I'll release eventually. It'll happen though. Ooh, we get to try out our, our carnivore team. So I actually, when I get this team, I actually enjoy it because it's a fun team to use, especially with Scorpius Rex, it makes it better. And I always put it in Trico because it's a tank and amazing creature. This is a good counter for a dealer and kids because all I have to go for is this and instant invincibility. Then what you call it? Then I go for Brazilian and he's dead no matter what, unless he heals. So yeah, he does a lot of damage. This is the most damage I've, I've fought against a dealer and so I'm a bit worried about this one. But I think I should be fine. He's almost dead. If I had what's its name? Or should I wait? Because I can kill him. I was gonna swap out and it was a score at least i get to do some damage even though he's gonna kill my scorpius rex all i have to do is get oh shoot no, man he's faster than my rex even without the speed boost hopefully i go through it so i could do a lot of damage to the do i don't go through now the chances of me getting stunned are pretty high so i might as well just go for it and i still get stunned i'm fine with that because even either way he would still be able to kill me Oh jeez, alright, let's see. Let's swap out to my school wizards. I mean I guess I might as well unless he goes through it, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed. But well, I have a level 29 and I'm pretty sure I'm faster. I'm way faster, yeah. Or do I have more attack? I don't know. So yeah, I got I'm almost at a level 30. Scorpius Rex is really good. Why would you go for that? Thank you. Oh no, he can cleanse himself now. I'm going to play it smart and go for this only because he's going to cleanse himself and I do not like that. Unless he goes through, I'm screwed actually. Oh shoot, I'm dead if he goes through. There he goes. Alright, let's see. 
best option is this because even wait, or is he immune to die? He's not, so he's gonna die either way. I think he's gonna die either way. If not, I'm swapping out to Rex. No, not Rex. What you call it? What's his name? Trico the Killing Hawk. I don't know if he's gonna die from this. It's gonna be close. He did die. Right? Now I might swap back to Trico just for it to get killed, and I can save my Scorpius Rex for an occasion. If it's a Thordor, I might just attack it, just so it can do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm swapping out. I, I don't want. I mean, I just six seven eight. Oh, he went for the revenge. I know what he's gonna do. It's quite obvious. He's going to go for the heal, so I'll go for that. Yeah. This might not. It's not gonna be enough. I think. I need to get one worker. Okay, now I'm in a very bad situation. Does it end for one turn? It doesn't. I want to get lower. I want to get as low as possible. And even if I got a crit, it would have died. So I'm dead right here. Ah, oh, god dang it. I should have known. The good news is, I can put. I think I've lost, to be honest. This thing is too powerful. There's the big hit, so I did go for the right option. I've lost, though, because no matter what he pulls out next, if I do kill him, it's gonna be. Unless it's a board one, I, and I do a lot no, I think I've still lost. I'm gonna go for this just so I can heal. Oh, damn it. I hate, the, even though I use it, I hate it. I feel bad for the people I have to do this to every single time. I still killed it. I'm actually really happy about that. So. All right, so let's see. What does he have next? I think I lost the Alberta Seville. Yeah, uh, this isn't good. This isn't good. He didn't go for the track for some reason. I'm really worried about what he's about to go for. He probably went for the precise revenge. Alright, how much damage? It's like, he gets like 3,800. Alright, I know he went for the other, I know he went for the instant thing, because it's quite obvious. So, he can't kill me unless he gets a crit. I don't know how much it pulls out, but I have dodged on, so I, he did go for it. He doesn't go through it. He's dead. Oh, never mind, he can swap out. What's he swapping out to? Ah, oh, no. This is the worst thing he pulled out to. doesn't have weight oh come on that's just not fair at all he's not going to protect the protective alert i've lost yep gg there's nothing i can do i wish i could but no that protective alert is going to save him and yep there's a so yeah uh, yeah wait actually i got an idea it's not gonna work yep obviously didn't well i give up only way I win is if I stun him. I don't even know if it stuns him to be honest. It doesn't. It doesn't even stun him. It really help him. I hate this move, bro. Sometimes I. It would stun him, but no, of course it would. Oh, you only regenerate one. Oh. I mean, I still have lost, so what's even the point of it? Oh, crit. Sometimes I don't like the crits in this game. Honestly, the game will almost be better without him because it's just ridiculous. Oh no, he has an 80% now. So, I mean, what can I really do? I mean, unless he has oh, the crit, man. He's ruining everything. Oh, and I he buffs me completely. Oh, yeah, I lost. 
Sometimes I wish Scorpius Rex had a had a move where they can't swap out like a long time. Well played. Ah, oh, dang. I'll win the battle later and get my incubator, unfortunately, but hopefully we win this one. We can end this video so I don't make it too long. I just wanted to go over the update. I didn't explain hopefully i can make an io video soon but i'm gonna be working on an animation it's been like four months since the last oh it's the same team again i'm a bit worried oh he said good luck hopefully he's not toxic not bad actually this isn't a bad matchup so yeah uh thanks there we go now we can go for this best thing to go for is probably just i mean yeah i i should have went for the other thing but either way he's gonna he can't distract me, which is actually really nice. Wait, is that a delay? Yeah, it's a delay one. The good news is I can actually kill him now. That's a lot of damage. Okay, that's not good at all. The nullifying, I'm fine with. You can go ahead and do that. I kill you either way and I cleanse myself. All right, Trico's killed something so far. Now I should have enough health to fight that Indoor right there. At least do a big hit. Feeling, I have a feeling he's gonna go for a very he's gonna go for cunning strike. But just in case, I'm gonna regret doing this. I know he's gonna go for the cleansing. I knew it. Thank God I went for that. Alright, thing. I don't know why he said well played, even though I went for this. So yes, now he can kill me. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that increase attack. All right, let's see. All right, 2,286. Now, I, yeah, might as well let him kill me now. Since he's an Indoraptor, best likely scenario is to go for Giganex. Because I'm actually faster than it. I don't know how I'm faster than most things as Giganex. Giga X, Giga Chad, I don't care. Anyways, yep, it does. It, nope, it doesn't do anything. It just increase. It just makes him be able to dodge. I go through it because it's gig. It's Giga Chad. Anyways, what else does he have now that can possibly destroy? If it's a ref, did he give up? Because, no, he has. To, he has to have a Scorpius. That's probably the reason why. I'm gonna go for this reason why. Oh, he does like. Oh, that's a that's a lot of damage. I'm just gonna say that right now. He probably went for the big hit because that's why he swapped in. Yep. Now, if I were him, I would go for the the instant heal, unless he has another swap in. Well, if it does, it's gonna kill me now because I have vulnerability on. He is gonna go for the instant heal. Is what I'm assuming because that's what I would do. He doesn't. The smart play well played right there he played smart i like this guy already all i have to do though because yeah so if he kills me rexy can come in and kill him no matter what because now i can go over this and i know he's gonna do a lot of he's gonna get a lot of health right here he's probably gonna heal again and I don't mind that. As long as he's 2,700 or lower, I've killed him. With with the instant attack, but he's probably going to swap out either way. Oh, God, that's a lot of health to regen right there. So he can kill me now, I think. Yep, most likely. Now Rexy cannot kill him, which is the unfortunate part. Rexy only kills him if I get a crit. So I almost put Scorpius Rex in. Oh, I would have been so upset. Now. Oh, no, wait. He can't even. Oh, I won. Well played. Oh, thank you. Anyways. We won. That's going to be the end of the video. Let's see what we get. Rexy has been doing really good at, good on my team that he deserves to stay on there for a long time. He really did. What? Wait. Hold on. Wow, I'm actually 6,000 in the world. I'm very surprised. Let's see. Earlier, I checked this dude had a max. Uh, yep, there it is. He's a max one of this. What even is this? Oh, this is the new hybrid. Let's see. The ability and strike. Okay, not bad. If Evasive restore. Yep, uh, I knew this was going to happen when the hybrids were leaked. 
Evasive Resilient Impact, okay, and ev Evasive Alert Rampage, Stunning Dodge and Strike, Ooh, and a goal, and a self chance, 50% chance to dodge one attack turn. Ooh, so he gets a dodge as well, and a speed increase. Now, let's show you, get, uh, not Giga Rex, Indonami's um, moves. Lesser, Fierce, Decelerating Strike, a good attack. Fierce Devouring Impact, which cleanses vulnerability and heals. And that's about it, really. And now this one. Debilating Debil Rampage and Run. Highest damage reduced. 100% attack, which is amazing. Four attacks in two turns. And double damage. Oh, yeah. Now this. This is probably the one of the best moves to ever exist right here. The Prowling Revenge Cloak. Cleanse. You cleanse yourself. And you get two times damage, which which is an attack increase. I'm pretty sure. On the next attack, two turns, survive. Seventy five percent chance to dodge, which is normal. Yeah. Now this one though, for the uh, what you call it, the revenge, and also the tar an opponent's op the the target. So your opponent will have will have the most positive effects reduced fifty percent. So it like it nullifies them a little bit. Now the revenge is even better. Cleanse yourself normal. Three times damage on the next attack. Seven, so the same thing. But yeah, it's the same thing. It's just the three times damage. Now this guy's other moves. Swap and stun. Not bad. Most creatures have that good stuff for smiling enemies. This, however, was just added in to make it more powerful. The bait. So if you go for the cloak and you get your triple or two times damage. And if they hit you and miss... And they, you get more damage, and you re oh, this thing is gonna be amazing! I cannot wait to use it. And the resistance is a hundred percent stun. Swap prevention are amazing. The rain and damage reduction are a bit disappointing. The dot is good, and the speed decrease is decent. So yeah, this thing is really good, and I can't wait to use it. Now it's time to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications for my next video, which hopefully will be soon. I think it might be an animation or something else. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.